Tired of being broke? Well, you're in luck because today I'm sharing the top 10 ways to save more money and keep more money in your pocket. First, avoid impulse spending. You might think it's no big deal to grab that extra item because it's on sale, but how many times have you bought something and then you regretted it after because you needed the money for something else because it wasn't in the budget? Stop getting lured into just buying everything you see. Start writing the list and only purchasing the things on your list. It's gonna save you money every single month. Next, use a credit or a debit card that has cash back rewards. If you don't have any cash back rewards, I'll do another video and link it to this one so that you can check that out so you can start getting money back on the things that you buy. You're literally missing out on free money by not using some kind of cash back rewards card. Next up, this one is kind of obvious, but you've got to start canceling some of those subscription services. I'm telling you, you don't need Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, Peacock, Stars, HB. Guys, you don't need them all. Figure out which ones you actually watch and then cancel the others. Each of these streaming services are costing you 15, 20, 25 bucks a month. And just by simply canceling a couple of them, you can keep an extra 50 to hundred dollars in your pocket every single month. Not to mention some of the music streaming services. You probably got Apple music, Pandora, Spotify, Tidal. Guys, you don't need all of them. Pick the one that you use the most, rock with it, and turn the rest of them off. It's going to save you money. This is the one that took me the longest to actually start doing. It was, you just got to start taking your lunch to work. Start meal prepping. Go to the store and cook. Find new recipes on YouTube. Find new recipes on TikTok and start cooking at home and taking lunch. It's going to save you $10, $15, $20 every single day. And it's going to taste better too. Don't buy anything at full price. You can call me cheap. You can call me frugal. But guess what? I don't care because my goal is to be rich, right? I'm not going to pay full price for anything. Thing because what I've realized is that everything goes on sale. So I wait till things go on sale and then I buy it. Sometimes you just got to be a little bit more patient. And that kind of ties into our first one, which is don't buy on impulse. Think about your purchases, write your list, and then start to make this thing fun so that you can see the best price that you can get. It's kind of like my approach when it comes to investing. I never like to pay at the highest and I like to buy at the lowest I can possibly get it. Treat your shopping the same exact way. And that goes from clothes to food to groceries. I mean, you can apply this to every area of your life. Here's another one that people sleep on all the time. Reduce your energy use. Turn the lights off. Adjust the AC when you're going out. Every small action counts. And I'm telling you, these small things over time, you're going to watch that energy bill shrink. Up next, start saving your change. No one likes change in their pockets. At least I know I don't. So what I do is I've got a container that I put all my change in every single day. Okay. That's going to add up and accumulate over time. Nothing feels better than at the end of the year, go into Publix and go into the coin star with a container full of coins. And then you get in a hundred, two hundred dollars back. Start saving your change. This is a good way for you to start accumulating some extra savings. And it's something you don't even have to think about. Here's a big one. Start automating your savings. If you're someone watching this video and you have trouble saving money, Money, and maybe you feel like you can never, you know, break the ceiling up. You feel like you can never accumulate anything in savings. Start automating it. Every time you get paid from your job, automate your savings, have a direct or automatic transfer, or maybe you can have a automatic transfer every single week. It doesn't have to be a lot guys. You can literally set up a $10 transfer to your savings every Friday. That's $40 every month. At the end of the year, guys, that's going to add up. It's going to be $500 saved. It might be more than you're currently saving now. So start automating your savings. The next one is one you maybe never thought about. Don't let late fees sneak up on you. Here's something I do. I have a calendar. I have every date that my bill is due. And I actually look at my week every week so I know what's coming up this week. So I'm never late on bills. If you have a problem paying bills on time, here's something I would recommend. Automate your bills. Put them on bill pay. You know the day you get paid from your job. You know when your bills are due. The great thing about this is most of your utilities, most bills that you have, you can go and change your due date so it works with your pay schedule. But you want to automate this process to avoid late fees because those late fees are cutting into your savings. The final tip I'm going to give you guys today is you've got to find financial balance. You got to start allocating your money wisely so that you can start to see your bank account flourish. I use something called the 50, 30, 20 rule. 50% of your income goes automatically to your necessities. It goes to your bills. 30% of your income goes to discretionary spending. The things that you want, that's shopping, that's eating out, that's the club, whatever it is that you like to do, 
30% of your income and only 30% is allocated to that. And then 20%, 20% is savings and paying off debt. So like I mentioned before, if you're automating your savings, you want to say, hey, when I get paid, 20% of my income automatically goes to my saving account. I don't even have a chance to spend it. I'm telling you, these 10 tips will help you start saving money immediately. And they're not super difficult to do. You just got to make a commitment that you're going to do it. So now after watching this video, you've got 10 simple ways that you can start saving money and start keeping more money in your pocket. Never forget that small changes add up. Here's what I need you to do. Hit the like button if these tips were useful. I want you to go ahead and share your favorite money saving tip in the comments below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can get more of these finance tips. See you guys in the next video.